Hello everybody, welcome to another pickups video here. Um, this is stuff that I've actually got since I guess the last pickups video, which was done uh, I guess as soon as I got right back from Retropalooza. So there's a lot of cool stuff here. Basically, it's five NES games, one Super Nintendo game, and one Game Boy Advance game that I'm going to be saving to the very end. But if you know me, you probably know what it is. So let's get started. Game number one, Arkanoid by Taito. This is a stupidly addicting, fun kind of game. It's one of those games where if you've been on like sites like Mini Clip and Newgrounds, it's, you know, it's like, boop. You break the blocks like up here. There's game footage somewhere over here, of course, but it's very fun It's very addictive and I kind of wish I had the controller here because the Arcanine controller with the I guess the spinning kind of like knob is Makes the game very much easier uh, with the d-pad It's kind of hard because as soon as like you get a deflection your ball is gone. It's completely gone Anyway, very fun game. I recommend it. it's decently priced too. I mean you gotta go pick up this game It's addicting if you want to kill some time Arcanoid next game we got is Batman. Oh, the light almost screwed up, but Batman. This, of course, is the classic beat-em-up based on the comics. One of my favorite parts about this game is how Batman is just, like, weirdly colored for some reason. I think it, NECA Toys did, like, an action figure of it, and it's very hilarious. I wish I picked it up when I did. Very fun beat-em-up, all in all. Um, I recommend if you don't have it. This is actually another game that's not too, like crazily priced so if you got some extra coin you don't have it go pick up batman it's very fun another addicting game to just sit down and just punch through bad guys you know it's like you're living in a comic book go grab it game number three is a game that i've never actually played but when i saw it i had to scoop it up because it's it's one that's always intrigued me a little bit i've always read very good things about it and clash at demon head now this game was mentioned in uh, i think it's one of the band names in scott pilgrim vs the world or something like that and so I was like, man, I need to I need to go pick up that game because right then and there I love anything Scott Pilgrim, so I just I wanted to have it for that, but then when I started reading more into it and getting more involved kinda like in how the game plays, the game story and stuff like that, it looks like a genuinely fun game. Like an adventure game, you can get power-ups and things like that, you can run, jump, shoot. It looks very fun and I can't wait to actually spend some more time and go right through it. It's a classic. If you haven't played it, go play it. It's one of the most beautiful looking games on the NES and that is Kirby's Adventure. If you don't have Kirby's Adventure, go play it. It's just one of those fun little adventure games that can be quite challenging all in all. But it's it's one of the most beautiful looking NES games I've ever seen, like that I've ever played. It's a later NES release which kind of explains that as to why it looks so good. But Damn, it's one of the, like, mm, it's so pretty, the gameplay is so smooth, and it's just a fun little adventure game to go play through. Last but not least is one of my favorite games of all time. It's one of the games where I've had it and I've had to get rid of it for different things, but now I'm glad that I've got it back, and that is Mike Tyson's Punch-Out. If you haven't played Mike Tyson's Punch-Out, what are you still doing? Just stop the video, go find, like, NES 8-bit or something, 8 online, whatever game, ROM, emulator, and go play it. Go play that game because it is just so fun to actually play through. All of your competitors have like little quirks and like little nuances you need to pick up on in order to defeat them. Uh, King Hippo I think is the most notorious where you gotta like jab him that his boxers fall down and you just beat the crap out of his stomach. That's, that's just something all in its own right there. So if you don't have Mike Tyson's punch out, what are you doing? Go pick it up right now. Next uh, game I have for the Super Nintendo is one that I have been I've never seen anywhere in any stores. I was looking for it specifically at Retropalooza and I never saw it there. Uh, but I would just happen to do a trade-in and I just happened to see it and I was like, you're taking that game out because I'm buying it. I'm dead serious. I'm buying this game and that is Rock and Roll Racing. Man, Rock and Roll Racing is one of the coolest games I have ever played. Uh, it's got one of those like augmented kind of views like RC Pro-Am kind of has. Uh, but with Rock and Roll Racing, my favorite thing is you can get power-ups, you can customize your car, but the soundtrack is just so damn cool. You got uh, like 16-bit renditions of like Bad to the Bone, uh, Paranoid, uh, Highway Star by Deep Purple. Um, there's a couple others that I'm just blanking on. Born to be Wild is another one, but just 16-bit renditions of that, and it just kick. You're just driving along, you're just hearing like dun 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 dun, dun and you're just like, yeah, this is this is something pretty decent go pick up this game. It's wickedly fun too to just sit and play. Uh, I highly recommend it. I think it's, you know, it's kind of a little bit 
pricey here in Canada. I think it was like 60, but I obviously I had trade credit. But if you can find a copy of this game, what are you still doing? You need to grab this game. It's wickedly fun. You will not regret it. Trust me, it's one of those games you play it, you won't regret it at all. Now the last game is uh, one that I've wanted for quite some time now. I can remember vividly seeing it at a Best Buy, oh god, years and years ago. And I was like, what? What? They, they made this game and I don't have it? That's very odd. I need to go pick it up. And for years, I'd never seen it in any retro shops or anything. And that is Banjo Pilot on the Game Boy Advance. Finally. I now finally have every game released in the Banjo-Kazooie franchise. This is not counting like Diddy Kong Racing or Sonic's Adventure Racing where he was like a bit part or even Conker's Bad Fur Day where his head's in like all over top of the fireplace. I'm talking about main release Banjo-Kazooie games. You got Kazooie, Tui, uh, Grunty's Revenge, then Banjo Pilot, and then Nuts and Bolts. I guess that's kind of the chronological order, the way they came out with the timelines all whatever. But I finally have Banjo Pilot now. I'm going to look into getting some, I guess, custom GBA cases for Grunty's Revenge and Pilot because I don't have the boxes. I have the manual for Grunty's Revenge still, actually, but I don't have the boxes. But it's just one of those games where people might be like, oh, Banjo Pilot is just an alright game. But I'm like, man, but for me, I now finally have all the games in that kind of series that, you know, is probably my favorite games of all time, Kazumi and Tui. Like, Maybe 1A, 1B, different things like that. And to have to have something that, you know, you grew up loving and you grew up just basically spending a lot of time with and you invested a lot of your life with, it's just it's just kind of a cool feeling to know that, hey, I have all those games now right there. I'm looking right at them right there. I can just play them anytime that I want. It's a really neat feeling. Anyway, guys, that wraps it up for this pickups video here. I wanted to keep it kind of short, kind of concise. I don't want to bore people down with, like, 89 million minute explanation about this this game right here developed by thq is a game on the game like i don't want to be like that that's just not me uh quick concise to the point just wanted to show off what i got you know let me know your thoughts on some of these games down below let me know if you played or haven't played some of them um if there's one i say to go out and really play definitely go out and really play rock and roll racing that's the one that's your homework go find a rom or if you have it go pop it in go play it. it's your homework go play it enjoy it you will love it or your money back i don't really have money to give but still and with that out of the way you guys stay classy and have a good night positivity week